Hello, this is Kaus Thaban and it gives me great pleasure to explain the basic principle of rolling motion. It's a complex uh, motion actually and pure rolling motion is different from sliding motion or rolling plus sliding. This is what you will learn in this video today. Uh, please do make sure to see till the very end of the video. It's only three minutes so it won't take too much of your time. Here I'm rolling a wooden ball on a wooden table. The text will come up on the screen and you can see the text self-explanatory. Uh, here I have shown you a ball on a table with the arrows passing through the center of mass. The center of mass is a fixed point actually even as the ball rotates. The yellow arrow down there is a force of friction that acts as the ball starts rolling and this force of friction causes a torque that rotates the ball and causes pure rolling. The next slide you will see a schematic which explains it in a better way with all the traditional symbols of physics. Uh, you can see a cricket ball that's rolling from left to right. The radius is clearly marked out and that red dot there is the center of mass and you can see the various uh, symbols and the principles that cause pure rolling of the cricket ball and the forward motion of the center of mass. In this slide, I'm showing you a pure rolling of a cylinder fixed with things inside it. It's also interesting. And if you analyze the cylinder, you can see a red line here, which is the interface contact between the cylinder and the plane on which it's rolling. And the frictional force, the static friction force, distributes itself all along that red line. The green arrow shows the initial force that we applied on the cylinder to cause it to start rolling. With this uh, sketch, we try one more video and we just roll a bottle on the table and you can see it performs pure rolling. Uh, it's coming back because there is a kind of depression in the table so it settles down to the minimum point. In the case of a car rolling, it's interesting because the car has four tires and all the tires perform rolling motion. So I hope this uh, short video was useful to clarify your concepts on pure rolling and uh, of course there is more to rolling motion than this. It's a complex subject. If you want me to cover uh, more in depth, please do reply on this video. Thank you and have a great day.